Hey, welcome back for this week's uh, Drill of the Week. Uh, this week's a little bit different. This so much is not a drill as it is a format of a way that we spend some time in practice uh, to break down. It's more of a breakdown session for us. Uh, it's a way that we manipulate and use the full court. Uh, we work on working uh, both ends of the floor um, and transition and half court actions at the same time. Then we also add an element of, we call it peer drills. Um, in peer drills, the coach is not as involved with um, the quality of the way the drill is run. You'll see here, we count on our players to hold each other accountable uh, for their positioning, uh, their timing, and the execution. You don't have a coach standing there saying good, bad. You have the players actually doing it. And what we found over the years that when we do the peer drills, players are sometimes actually tougher on themselves than most coaches are. Uh, and they really begin to hold each other accountable. Uh, and, and I think you begin to build some trust within your teammates. Uh, you know, a common thing that we hear as coaches at coaching clinics, and I don't know who to credit with it uh, for being said the first time, but I know that we believe in it. You're either coaching it or you're tolerating it. And I think that becomes true in this drill. Your players are either going to try to help their teammate get better or they're just going to tolerate it and settle for it. So this is a format on the way we work with our talls and smalls. Uh, bigs, littles, whatever you want to call them, post guard. Uh, we just call them talls and smalls. Uh, sometimes we do talls and, sometimes talls with. So when we do talls with smalls, talls and smalls would be talls on one end, smalls on the other. But when we go talls with smalls, we're operating both things going here at the same time. So these are the players we'd call our talls. Uh, some players will actually rotate between both ends because of their versatility. But on this end of the court, we're working on a half court action. Okay, this is a half court action. And these players are holding each other accountable. This is Dev. Dev's got the ball. She is holding Taylor accountable for sprinting into her screen, popping her feet, and setting a good ball screen. If Taylor does not go hard to the screen, does not sprint to the screen, change direction of the screen, change her angle, do something to arrive without the defender, then what Dev will just wave her off and she has to rotate out. She doesn't get a shot. She'll work on conditioning, she'll work on the act of, of popping her feet, but she's not rewarded with her shot because as a peer, Dev says, you didn't do it right. If she does it right, Dev's gonna use her. And here in this case, I think Taylor does. She sprints, she pops her feet. Dev attacks the screen. We talk about opening up chest to ball. You can see Taylor beginning to open up chest to ball. Dev attacking, going downhill with her dribble. That's what these coaches are evaluating and looking for. So on this end, coaches and players are down here. You see, I'm leaned up against the back. I'm not, in, I'm not even engaged in this drill. This is on these guards, and look at them looking. They're all watching because they love to tell them they did it wrong too sometimes. Ah, you did it wrong. Get out. And that raises the level of our, of, of our execution. So Dev's going to take it off in the half court action. This day, you can work on anything. What we're working on is not important. It's the how we're working on it, the way that we are working on it, <clears throat> what we're emphasizing, what we're coaching, what we're tolerating, what we're looking for. Dev doesn't make this pass on what we call the same boards. We use the boards of the floor sometime as our uh, guidelines. We want Dev to string this out away from the ball screen, and she makes a good angled entry pass into Taylor, who's on the move. She's going to catch and finish with some, some contact. Dev turns. She's made a good pass. So she's getting ready to find out going this way whether these coaches think that was a good game-like pass. If she gets a ball, it was. So she got the pass on this end. The guards, the smalls, are working on our transition. This is what we call our race and space. They're working on race and space. So Coach Todd has called out an action. This action is what we call up the street to the lock for a three. So Dev, having just made this pass, doesn't just stop and rotate to the back of another line and stand there for three, three or four minutes. She immediately goes into a transition situation, which is what happens in a game. Changing ends from, floor to, from ends of the floor. She makes an up-the-street pass. Kieran gets it, and she's ripping it and going baseline. Dev fills in behind for a second shot. Down here, we're working on our finishing moves. 
There's a lot of chaos going on in the gym on this period. Somebody that's in the gym at this point in time is going, man, that looks pretty chaotic. And I love to hear that because we want practice chaos. Somebody tweeted this the other day. I think it was Fran Frischilla on social media said, practice chaos creates game calmness. And I just amen that as much as I could and retweeted it and tagged it and liked it and thumbs up it and whatever else we do on social media these days. But this is a great drill to involve everybody on your team. There's a very, very short line. A lot of times even these guys here that are standing in line will have working on stationary ball handling. This day they must have uh, been in a good mood and we weren't making them do that. But we're constantly looking to maximize how much ever time we're working on that drill in that day. You can change your actions, what you're doing in the half court, what you're doing in the full court, but this is something that about 10 minutes a day, we're gonna have talls working with smalls in a peer situation, making sure we're emphasizing what we're willing to coach and not just tolerate.